All right. So he's, he's here, nine terms, right? Um, while he's in Congress, Jim Jordan founded the right-wing populist House Freedom Caucus, one of its founding members. He served on the House Oversight Committee, which is an investigative committee. It's how the House investigates things. Then he left that to sit on the House Judiciary Committee, which oversees the administration of justice within federal courts, agencies, and law enforcement. So again, you may not have voted this guy in, but he's got sway over all of us in some really important committees. Jim is also part of Donald Trump's fascist MAGA movement. He helped to launch an attempted coup of our government on January 6th and served on Trump's defense team during his impeachment trial. And similar to Jim's refusal to help the investigation into sex abuse. I thought this Jim, guy doesn't have a, his guy doesn't have a law degree. I mean, he, he has a law degree, but his, he didn't pass the bar. So what? So it's an so impeachment like, trial. It's an impeachment trial. Oh, the impeachment trial. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. So not only has Jim refused to help the investigation into sexual abuse, but he also refused to help the investigation into Trump's insurrection. But still. Who is Jim politically, right? These are all little tidbits, little little factoids of his past, but who is he? Sure, he's allegedly willing to turn a blind eye to sexual abuse and later help a convicted sexual abuser try to overthrow the government, but what's his voting record? And what are his legislative victories? Uh, what is he doing for the good people of the 4th Congressional District of Ohio and the people of the United States? Well, I have a sampling for you. So in terms of his voting record, Veteran Service Recognition Act, he was a no. VA Employee Fairness Act, he was a no. Urgent Labor Access for Veterans Act, no. Mental Health Matters Act, no. Mental Health Justice Act, no. Maternal and Child Home Visiting Reauthorization Act, no. Law Enforcement De-Escalation Training Act, no. Respect for Marriage Act, no. Heart Awareness and Research Act, no. Women's Health Protection Act, no. Shooter, I'm sorry, Active Shooter Alert Act, no. Right? I tried to pick ones out that were self-explanatory so we didn't have to go into it. Those are his no's. And there's a much, much longer list. But surely there are some yeses? Yes. Yes, there are. Oh, oh, because I'm at the beginning, I was beginning to think, uh, so he's like, government do anything? No. But you're saying that there are some things that he there will are. allow the government to do. I have quick sampling okay. of self-explanatory acts that you may want to hear. Okay, cool. Just the shorter list, a much shorter list. I, I assume so, because I mean, I mean, at least this guy lives by his bread and butter. I mean, he when you talk about limiting government, I mean, he's he's literally there to to say no. Do you not do not pass go? Do not collect two hundred dollars. Well, I, 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 I would not. I would not go that far. I would not. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So here are some of his yeses. Defense appropriations, homeland security, censoring Adam Schiff, and saving our gas stoves. That's kind of like <laughs> the... He really, he's really on the, uh, the payroll of, like, of, of GE, huh? I mean, uh, <laughs> saving the gas stoves. <laughs> okay. All right. We've gone into that where there was this whole Republican movement yeah. that tried to pin, I think, on Biden, maybe, or at least the Democrats, that they are coming after your gas stoves when really it was a regulatory move yeah. to make sure that things were efficient. Um, but then we went into all of the carcinogens that gas, yeah, gas yeah. stoves have. And when... When there is a better way, we should all be incentivized to convert. It shouldn't be on the individual to, to take on that financial burden, but we should all be incentivized so it's a smooth transition. Absolutely, but now, well, that makes sense now because it, it was it was basically an initiative to have the government do something. So he said yes to to not having the government do something. That well, that, that makes sense. So I guess I guess it makes sense on that that point of view alone, because it's 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 another way of saying government. Well, it's fossil no. fuel. It's fossil fuel. Yeah, sure, but I'm just saying it's another way the government was going to legislate. That's natural, that's natural gas. Yeah, you know, it's yeah but they were going to, yeah, I mean, well, there's that, but they were going to actively try to regulate something, and he he said, it's a, it's a yes, no. It's a yes, no. So yeah, he okay. really only has two Well, defense, defense spending, defense, right. defense, defense, although he does not support Ukraine. So defense on the homeland. Um, okay. That would be interesting to know he doesn't support Ukraine, 
but he's he signed off on any of these spending budgets for the for the military though correct but he voted down all the ukraine stuff okay like every time a uk uh, a ukraine funding bill came up he voted no okay yeah so i tried to pick out ones because a lot of these things happen over and over and over like defense appropriations and things like that so these are just you know the things that pop up that he that he voted yes and no on all right so you get the point there okay um so he doesn't seem to vote yes on issues that would positively positively impact everyday people but surely he's passed some bills that move the needle for his constituents right i mean the dude's in congress well in Dude, his been around for freaking forever. 16 years of service in the yeah. u.s congress yeah so and obviously he's got to be doing a lot for the people of his, his in that six, in that 16 years he's introduced 30 bills antoine can you venture a guess on how many of them have been signed into law zero ding 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 you are right sir jim jordan has not, not passed a single bill into law i'm not attacking him as a person this is just the sense i get usually i just feel like anyone who cannot corral people around them to vote for them to be what they want to be I just I got the sense that he's not particularly convincing and hasn't been so in his entire political career. So I I because here's the thing I, I I'm not I didn't know I don't know anything about this man. I, I we I had the preamble before you even started speaking. I literally know nothing about him, and yet I was able to guess that he's never passed a bill just just on the way that he's being treated. I I I felt like it was a safe venture. Yeah, and you treaded safely and correctly sir so now that you've met jim jordan i will recap everything that we've gone over the gop's house speaker front runner is jim jordan jim jordan failed to report sexual abuse jim jordan votes no for veterans no for women no for mental health no for marriage equality and no for gun violence jim Jordan tweeted and said on Fox News that Democrats were stealing the election with early voting. Jim Jordan was one of the 147 Republicans that voted to reject the 2020 election results. Jim Jordan pressured Mike Pence not to certify the 2020 election results. Jim Jordan led a call with Trump and others to delay the congressional certification of those votes. Jim Jordan advised on social media posts that encouraged Trump supporters to come to the Capitol that fateful day. And Jim Jordan has never passed a single bill in his 16 years of service. That's who Jim Jordan is. I'm going to call him the J.I.J. You know what that stands for? I don't. Tell me. Jim in action, Jordan. <laughs>